Well, if you only watch the first five minutes, all the videos are the same. No, I watched all of it. I always feel obliged to watch all of them. I'm thinking, please do something in this one. <laughs> no. <laughs> Welcome to Number One Crude Mistakes with Glenn from Number One Projects, Hobar from Behind the Mistakes, and me, KJ, from Crude But Efficient. A Woo-hoo! totally final normal episode, uh, I think. Uh, or will it be? I don't know. Stretch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we, we don't have a big event coming up or just uh, we just had it or we was, were there or anything like that. So Every week's a big event when I'm talking to you guys. Yeah, for me it's just yeah. a Tuesday. <laughs> Except from KJ. Uh, sorry. No, I'm Tuesday. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm too mean. I should be nicer. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I just tried to be funny, and I and I weren't. <laughs> so Glenn, <laughs> at least we're laughing. <laughs> yeah, but at That's me him. and not yeah, you know yeah no no, no. Yeah. With, with him <laughs> yeah. With each other. Uh, yeah. uh, Glenn, how's your week been? You published a video. I did, yeah. I've um, I've had a busy weekend. I made the bowl on Saturday on the lathe. Yeah. And uh, got a video out. And yeah, no, I did. I think I was probably as surprised as everybody else that I managed to turn a bowl on that uh, lathe. So <laughs> that worked it's, out it, well. It's definitely a bowl and it didn't kill you. And it didn't yeah. even try to kill you, it felt like, felt like. No, no, nobody died at all. No, it's all good. Everything still works. It looks like a bowl. The only thing I didn't do, I didn't quite sand it enough. I, I think I must have got dust all over my glasses, so I couldn't see that it needed a bit more sanding on the outside. <laughs> ah. Yeah, no, but other than that, it all worked. The um, the faceplate thing that I talked about last week that I made. Your, the the it, welds. that The welds. <laughs> that I was questioning. <laughs> so when I first tried that, it did break. And then I re-welded it, and it didn't break. But I did manage to bend the uh, spindle part of it. Ah. So I went on Amazon and bought a, I think it's called a table leg fixing or something like that. Oh. And that worked brilliantly. Is it? Is, that did the job perfectly. Yeah, I wondered why, why the, the shape of the spindle <laughs> thing changed from a circle to a square from the beginning <laughs> and end of the video. I expected a comment from you on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, so it, it, it kind of took me two days because I had to wait for the Amazon delivery halfway through. <laughs> I was thinking about commenting on it, but I just ended up <laughs> laughing at myself because uh, I remember on the last episode, someone asked, do you, do, do you trust your welds? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> and then, no oh no, it broke. <laughs> and then suddenly, <laughs> that's a different plate, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, should I comment? No, I'll wait for the episode instead. <laughs> Let's do it on air. There was one interest one interesting thing with the piece of oak that I used to make the bowl from. It had pieces of metal inside it. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So I don't know whether it had been shot when it was a, a young tree a hundred years ago or more. Possible. Or or what? But it's had little Someone bits. nailed some kind of fencing to it or something or Well maybe, but we're probably talk we're probably talking a hundred, two hundred year old tree. Hmm. To get that piece of wood from it, yeah, so that it was just, just perfectly in the middle. But in several places, I think it had been shot. <laughs> yeah, that depends what kind of metal it was. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't test it. Maybe it was a gangster <laughs> three, and it had grills, and it was like yo, and the yeah, and <laughs> you just gouge it out with your homemade yeah. lathe. So yeah, Maybe. a three from the hood. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. But we often uh, talk about wood tree. Yeah, you know, growing wood through axes and things like that. So I just thought it was interesting to say that there was actually metal in the wood. Yeah, that's a hardwood. Yeah, <laughs> very hardwood. Yes, <laughs> yeah, but that, that's a wet dream, isn't it? Being pot, I uh, being being able to weld wood. I mean, that would be a perfect crossover, wouldn't it? I mean, you have the aesthetics, but you can actually weld it. <laughs> I think yeah. I'd rather just stick with glue in it. If I'm honest, <laughs> seems far simpler. Yeah, yeah but maybe. you would want. The, I mean, think to to be able to MIG weld on. Oh, uh, it's just. It's just a tad bit too too short. I just weld on a bit at the end and sand it off. Now it's square and Actually, nice. Actually, that's not a bad idea. 
Yeah, all right. I'm done with the welding wood. But to be fair, that's what you do with glue, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it really yeah, is, but it, yeah. I mean, it takes so long. That's the thing. That yeah. uh, you have to wait for glue to dry and find a yeah. piece and sand it. Just yeah. The fine thing with glue is that you put it on, and even though you accidentally just touch it, you don't, you don't burn yourself because that's uh, a, I mean, uh, yeah. when you're welding yeah. something, oh, this looks great, and then you just like on <laughs> reflex. <laughs> Yeah. And it's like a week with uh, not touching anything. <laughs> and then you realize how much you actually use your fingers for everything. Yeah. Yeah. I've done a couple of uh, one day builds now where I've just used super glue instead of wood glue just to speed things up. And it seems to be holding yeah. the diddly bows held together with uh, super glue. Yeah, I mean, it's I mean it, it only needs to hold up for a video. <laughs> That's then... right. Yeah. <laughs> <Fuck it. laughs> So how have you, do you have the turning bug now, are you, or are you done uh, with it? Do you know it was it was nice. It was it was good fun turning, and the the lathe did work. But I would actually, I think I would actually quite like to try it on a proper lathe now. Yeah, I mean that's the question. Are you are you looking for a real or or a? Yeah, yeah. He he, yeah. he woke yeah. up the next day, seventy years old, and had a new craving: <laughs> lathe and uh, what's Zimmer this? Uh, what's, what, what's this candy that old people <laughs> like? Uh, oh, where there's original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to turn something. <laughs> a really dry biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hope we haven't alienated too much of our audience. But then well, again, you, you sent me that tea with biscuits and jam flavor. I mean, yeah. you probably get a tea with the taste of the Weather's Original candy as well. Pretty sure. Maybe, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you you gave me some some nice soft caramels. I mean, that's a bit of an old man sweet. Yeah, that's well? that's an old classic, and yeah, it's a, it's a big hit with the yeah. uh, people above <laughs> yeah dying age. <laughs> above <laughs> so, dying so, age. So that, that's why you gave them to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I actually like them, but of course they are. If you leave them for too long, they get really hard, and yeah. of course that that's a problem if you're wearing dentures or something like that. So, but yeah, when, uh, when they're fresh out of the press, they're really good. Yeah, someone uh, commented on the video. Um, it was either the, the main video or the short I made accompanying it. That um, oh, good choice of sweets to put in the bowl at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Um, Going back to the lathe question, um, we are looking at getting a lathe because Michelle does not like the homemade lathe. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought? I know. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll probably go for a, a second-hand one at some point. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, we'll get there. There's no um, rush. On the topic of lathes, <laughs> <laughs> I actually want one. Um, <laughs> but, of course, I want a metal one. Um, yeah. To be fair, most lathes, even wood turning ones, are made out of metal. So saying a metal lathe is, yeah, <laughs> a, a lathe for turning metal. Uh, but uh, I stumbled over a guy, uh, just a stone throw from here, that sold a, uh, an engine. Uh, and I have a project coming up. Um, but it didn't really have a clutch, and you want to attach... Uh, an axle or something, and I re like if I buy that one dirt cheap, then I'm gonna end in a lot of problem where I basically need a lathe. So the question is, sh should I buy it and then uh, have an excuse to get a lathe? Uh, and uh, should I buy a engine with a clutch pack and uh, a sprocket to save myself a lot of work? I mean venturing into metal fabrication it's like maybe i should do it easy on myself for this project just to ease <laughs> yes. into it instead of like yeah. going full in all right i need to machine a, a key for this axle <laughs> and get it down and yeah have so, you got yeah. room room in your current workshop for a lathe oh you, you can't think about details like that I, then you get nowhere <laughs> <laughs> are you taking the tim, tim approach to the workshop are you <laughs> yeah no, I mean, 
I realized I don't need a big one. And so I need a, of course, you can never have a big enough lathe, but I think a, a tabletop, if it can take a, a 20 millimeter axle or something, that should be enough uh, for my purposes for many years, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think you should get one. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, your that's the problem always. with talking with makers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should always get tools. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never any resistance. Falling well, over like leaves in the autumn. <laughs> well, make, making the axle and whatever it is they're doing the clutch assembly, I mean, that's a video in itself, isn't it? So that makes just getting the lathe worthwhile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the yeah. the dollar a week I earn on YouTube easily pays off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> put put in a pre built pre built you know perfect engine on a tabletop. That's not a video. No, you're actually onto something there, but yeah. yeah then again, <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like I should be some kind of. Uh, angel on the other shoulder instead of the the devil uh, but i don't really devils. have i don't really <laughs> have anything to say i feel so yeah <laughs> but you also got a video out this week as well Havard. I yeah did. and you you spend a 10 10 times uh, the length of glenn's video i yeah <laughs> so <laughs> yeah it's it took it's, 10 times to, as long to make it perhaps and no, probably not. <laughs> I just, I, th I think I recorded everything on one night and edited it and had it ready for <laughs> upload. Um, but yeah, it had, uh, I mean, it's weird. It's one of those uh, like slow talking videos and it's basically just. Was it really? I've not noticed. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you only watch the first five minutes, all the videos are the same. <laughs> no, I watched all of it. I always feel obliged to watch all of them. I'm thinking, please do something in this one. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> God, we are mean tonight, I feel. <laughs> Well, it's, I mean, it's a strategy. I need to milk the content whenever I can. But yeah, but if, th if, I, if I don't hear a recorder in the next one, I'm <laughs> I'm getting slightly angry. <laughs> yeah, uh, one patron down. Yeah, <laughs> might that, be, might be. But that's the thing that I'm, I'm kind of surprised that people haven't caught on because it's it's not about the recorder it's just a social experiment how much can you string people along before they're like he never planned on finishing it did he <laughs> no you're the first one here's your price a week in barbados all inclusive <laughs> but i don't want to go there <laughs> i want a week in my workshop <laughs> yeah Oh, that I, can, that, that, I, that I can give easily. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but it, that was the surprising because it just, all right, you have the content, smack it together and uh, just upload it just to keep the algorithm happy or whatever. And then, yeah, it's actually uh, got decent numbers the first week and I'm up like 10 subscribers and that's yeah. like a huge thing since the last half year. So it's like, <laughs> All right, something is right, but can't put my finger on it. But uh... well, let me just tell you that I did a thirty-second video on the bowl, and that's got me up ten subscribers as well. I thought, so. <laughs> yeah, ten subscribe. You know, thirty seconds, thirty minutes, same same outcome. Uh, yeah, I mean, I wish it <laughs> was a correlation there, so I could actually because if I could get hundred subscribers, then I would pass the four thousand mark, and that is uh, the goal. Yeah. I mean, uh, but the problem is, I'm gonna get there maybe sometime, and then it's gonna be like the next day, and then it's five minus, and it's gonna linger there for <laughs> half a year. So that's gonna be an even worse pain than like staying decently under, like I'm yeah. doing now. So yeah, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to sound mean about your videos because I actually subscribed to you before we were friends. I do actually quite like your videos in real life. Yeah, I mean, it's it's my voice. I mean, you don't have to watch the video. You can just put it on in the background and go to sleep. So yeah, that's that's a huge uh, <laughs> that's a huge niche on a niche online. So <laughs> I'm trying to fill <laughs> several. Well, I wondered where you were going to go with the voice thing. Then you know, you put it on. It's sexy time. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, 
No, maybe that's maybe I should go even more jazzy on my background yeah. music and turn down the the speed even uh, <laughs> <laughs> even slower and turn up the bass in the post and uh, <laughs> put the microphone really close to it. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. KJ, yeah. <laughs> what you been up to? <laughs> Uh, well, uh, my body is telling me that uh, I went to a trampoline park with the kids uh, on uh, sun uh, on Sunday, uh, and yeah, <laughs> middle-aged men shouldn't do that. <laughs> uh, but uh, other than that, uh, I have been quite productive. Uh, I finished uh, the treasure trade more or less on the deadline. Uh, Fantastic! What did you make? Uh, you'll see when uh, when uh, <laughs> the video is done, which I'll come back to. Uh, and then I I did all the welding for the rose cage the other day. Uh, yeah, it looks it's good. Looking good. Yeah. It's not it's not, a, not crooked at all. It's not perfect, but it's way more perfect than it was last <laughs> time. So it's it's perfect enough. Um, is so this for is. the? Is this for the rose up against the wall that you send? These no, this out? is no. for a rose uh, in the middle of the ah, good. Uh, middle of the garden, ah. and it's starting to to reach out. It almost reaches to the <laughs> to ends of the flower bed where it's in the middle of. <laughs> you can but, prune them, you know. Yeah, but it's, I mean, <laughs> which is easier, <laughs> imprisonment or trying to re- rehabilitate? <laughs> I think those branches are still going to be able to reach out from that cage. <laughs> yeah, but then you have a clear. If if you're outside the cage, you die. <laughs> you <just> snip, snip, <laughs> snip. But I mean, if you put outside of it a very fine mesh, so the branches can't go go through, then you will have this uh, tower-shaped uh, rose bush growing inside. It's going to maybe that's an interesting experiment to see if it will get that shape, and then you remove it after a couple of years, and it. Looks like a big rosy phallus symbol on your lawn. <laughs> yeah, it probably ends up there. So yeah, that uh, I'll leave that to to my wife. I feel give a, a whole He's... new meaning to uh, smelling the roses. <laughs> it's a phallus symbol. It's a, it, what will actually end up is being a a phallus shaped mass of dead wood <laughs> when you remove the cage. <laughs> Wood is wood. Um, so yeah. As long as it's hard, yeah, that's <laughs> you don't foresee. <laughs> yeah, but the, the the garden has been growing like crazy the last yeah. week. I, I've mow, mowed the lawn twice uh, last week, both in the start and the end. Uh, so it's yeah, it's really it's a lot of greenery popping all over the place. Yeah, yeah. May is crazy for gardens. It's, everything just grows far too quickly. Yeah, can't yeah. keep up. <laughs> Any videoing done yet, KJ? Any video editing that is? Uh, that is, I mean, that's the problem. Uh, at the moment, at the moment, I have uh, three videos completely, uh, everything filmed, and one of them is half edited. Uh, and soon, I will have two more projects fully filmed. <laughs> wow. And still no more edited. So <laughs> I, I need, I, I have to find time to sit down with the computer. Yeah. Because apparently I'm I'm too easily distracted by going outside and doing yard work or doing project work instead yeah. of sitting down in front of a computer, which I do all day at the day job. Gonna, yeah, I'm just about to say, I can understand that if that's what you do in a day job. I'm the, I'm the opposite. The sun's shining outside. Can I go in the office and sit at the computer, please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the, 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 the sun shouldn't be shining too much. The, um, uh, I took a couple of hours off yesterday um, and did a lot of welding before the kids got home. And I had to do it on the the one spot uh, that's flat and not flammable, uh, which was in direct sunlight. <laughs> so it... I mean, I had to to put my camera in the shade because it was complaining that it was overheating. Oh wow! <laughs> and I was also overheating, uh, so yeah, it was it was a bit too much. So then I, I longed for my for my basement where it's yeah. nice and cool all year round. You Scandinavians have had it really hot just lately, haven't you? Yeah, 
Yeah, to I think it's, a, it's been a heat record here, here for this time of year, several places. I mean, it's been over 30 degrees in the shadow a wow. couple of places, so it's been insane. We've just had um, between 15 and 18 degrees here. Oh, sounds lovely. Week, so. oh, <laughs> bliss. I've actually, I have now installed the fan in the bedroom, as I do in the summertime when it's getting too hot. So I'm just laying on top of everything and uh, the feed, like the fan blasting cold air towards me. Like, <laughs> oh, finally I can sleep. <laughs> yeah, we opened the top window to actually get some flow of air through the house. Yeah. But that helps a bit at least. And of course, I, I did like you <laughs> the other day. I had, I had home office and then the beautiful thing about home, home office is like, all right, it's time for coffee. And instead of going and being awkwardly social with colleagues that you really don't talk about at all at any other time, it's just like, all right, let's go out and play with the chainsaw. I got 15 <laughs> minutes. And of course, uh, I have piled all the logs in the part of the garden who was in direct sunlight, of course, and then pulling on the pants and all the gear and the helmet and everything yeah, and just yeah. running a chainsaw and not having run chainsaw for a very long time. So, of course, I got blisters and my hands are really like aching <laughs> because I've been holding this vibrating tool for too long. I mean, it, it ended up being more than 15 minutes. So. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's good. got a bit hot, but... Uh, yeah, I really should pay more attention. I think to the safety gear on the uh, chainsaw. I put ear defenders on, but that's only so I can still hear my podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Safety pants are, <laughs> or safety trousers, perhaps <laughs> both safety yeah. pants yeah. and safety trousers. Yeah. <laughs> trousers probably. But that that's the I, thing, I, though. Chainsaw I, I, pants is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a oh, video. You have a welding phone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I think that is the same. It's, are we start, starting a line of lingerie? <laughs> uh, number one crude mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does what does the carpenter get? <laughs> I, I'm guessing something to protect from a nail gun incident. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like a carpet burn on your knees. <laughs> uh, because carpenter. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, but that's, uh, I've right. always been fascinated with that. I mean, I, I've gotten to that point that, of course, when I use a chainsaw, I put on the pants and I don't, I don't have the protective boots. So, of course, I still use my foot to keep the logs in place yeah. while having the chainsaw <laughs> dangerously close. <laughs> and, of course, I always do it when it's nice weather. So, I mean, if you, if you put the jacket on, that's a health and safety issue because you get too hot and the sweat gets to your eyes. And that, So, it's always a t-shirt. <laughs> so, it's like, yeah. all right, I'm protecting my main arteries and mm -hmm. my legs. But, I mean... The important bits as a maker, like your arms and your torso, is like, ah, oh, that's fine. <laughs> like, <"Arr." laughs> yeah, but I think the legs is are the most important parts because that's the easiest way to die from a chainsaw. I think to cut yeah, you your leg open, yeah. kind of and bleed out if you cut yeah. yourself in the groin. Yeah. So yeah, but cutting your foot off that's not fun either. <laughs> I've, I've used chainsaw lots and lots and lots and lots, and in summertime I'm just in shorts and t-shirt. I've never put on any. Proper yeah. protective gear, but you know, obviously, that's worked I mean, out for me. Don't you do that, guys? <laughs> I mean, I think, and of course, this is, uh, if you talk to some OSHA people or whatever, health and safety, uh, they would, of course, strongly disagree. But you get quite long with common sense and actually yeah. thinking, and basically, yeah. don't be an ass. I mean, don't run the chainsaw while you're balancing in a ladder. That's a, that's a very yeah. plus. Uh, and uh, of course, I can understand it in a, a forest if you're putting down trees because there is a risk of tension and, uh, of course, variations in the, the wood that if you're not experienced enough, it, things can happen that you didn't plan for. But, I mean, I had the logs and they're laying flat on the ground. The only thing that basically can happen is that if you don't, put the saw too close it, it drags it towards you but i mean it's the risk is relatively low yeah, yeah. as long as you i mean you it's like using the table saw you, you shouldn't if you stand in one place you don't get hit in the face 
if if shit starts <laughs> flying, I think it's the same. Yeah, you just might. have a good footing and and don't be an idiot. And I think as- with yeah with the chainsaw, it's quite important to have one of your arms locked, so it's just locked straight as opposed to bent. And then if it does kick back, it, if your arms locked, it just it comes quite away from the body because your arms are quite long. Hmm. Yeah, never thought it. about that. So yeah, yeah but. I have actually been thinking about the angle and the placement. So if you give kickback that the arm that you're holding the front bar with, that it will actually uh, like uh, disconnect the clutch. Yeah. Because of, so sometimes you, you want to hold it at an angle at the side and do some magic. And then, you know, if it flips out now, it will never shut off the, <laughs> the chain. So, yeah. and it runs quite a bit after you let your finger off the trigger. Definitely does. Yeah, that's the closest I've ever come to an accident with one, actually. I was using one all day just for logging and um, got to the end of the day and I didn't put the brake on and just put lowered the chainsaw down and cut halfway through the phone that was in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I mean, yeah. that's for 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 novice uh, chainsaw users, they should use the safety gear because they don't really know what they're doing. And for experienced ones, it's for use, when you use do, it after when you lunch. Work. Yeah, yeah when you, exactly. When yeah. you work all day long, you get tired and you don't think about it, and you think, "I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna, I'm yeah. just gonna," and then you cut your leg off. <laughs> but to be fair, I haven't seen much lumberjacks like acting like pirates with wooden legs and prosthetics and so on. So I think cutting your legs or limbs off is not the biggest problem i think the either you're good or you're dead <laughs> i think maybe actually that's where pirates come from it's all the failed lumberjacks yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah fuck this i'm going to a docks <laughs> enlisting myself <laughs> and then wielding a sword so after a, a short career there you have an eye patch and where do you go from there <laughs> and a hook for a hand yeah <laughs> <laughs> Having a a leg prosthesis that is a chainsaw would be kind of awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they say that the best medicine is to get back up in the saddle when you have an accident, <laughs> and then yeah, yeah, making a chainsaw prosthesis that is taking it a bit further. Did we just get a title for the show already? Jack Pirates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chainsaw legs. That could save some time on Friday, couldn't it, KJ? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's good. Uh, I I read an article this week that there's a problem in England with pubs uh, not serving enough uh, booze. That the the pints are on average four percent less than they should be, and the wine is five percent less. Oh, wow. So the average drink in the UK pays about. 100 pounds a year for beer or wine that they don't receive. Wow. <laughs> well, it doesn't apply to me. I don't go to the pub very often. So, <laughs> But I mean, I've, I've seen Brits uh, after one too many pints. And I think uh, on an average, is that really a bad thing? I mean, it's a, <laughs> it's a, hell, a health gain, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ah, so this is them trying to uh, to reduce problems. Yes. Yeah. It's a health thing, not a monetary thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But they've probably done some research, and yeah, five percent. It's enough that they don't uh, cause trouble, but it's not so much that they can notice. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was really funny too. <laughs> I mean, five percent—that that isn't much. So you just put, you make sure that the froth on the top is extra thick and steamy, and uh, they still think that ooh, I got a real nice pint of beer here, and it's actually <laughs> just air. <laughs> yeah, that, that's also a thing, apparently. Does the 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 froth uh, is at least that part of the pint? Uh, or not? And pe- different people are are saying different things and. It was how, how much a stand, how much is the standard uh, froth on the head. on the beer? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> head. That's the correct term. Thank you. Oh, yeah. What? Well, maybe you know this, Glenn. What do they call these bottles 
with CO2 cartridges that were popular probably in the 70s and 80s where you made your own soda water like in drinks and so on CO2 oh the soda stream yeah but these were like these handheld they, they look like small fire extinguisher and you just put uh some uh, drink mix in it and uh, you just uh, pressed uh, and it just instantly added uh, the CO2 and uh, the bubbles to the water so you could just instantly put it in uh, your drinks. Uh, these weren't handheld ones. They were, they were. Um, if you imagine your KitchenAid, but a tall, thin, thinnest version of it. Yeah, yeah, I've had, I've yeah. had those, the, uh, yeah, the stationary yeah. ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I've I never seen a handheld one. I think I know what you're talking about. The, the older ones for like club soda things and yeah, yeah, yeah. Club oh, soda. The real old oh, yes, yes, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, I don't know what they're called actually. My uh, grandma used to have one of those in her bar in her kitchen. Yeah, we, we had one at home. <laughs> uh, a bar then, in the kitchen. That's so, yeah, so British. Yeah, I mean, my parents as well. When they built the house, uh, they had a bar in the basement. It never got finished, and of course, they got one of these uh, bottles as well, and it was never used past 86 i guess uh, so at one point we just tossed it away and of course a, a few years ago i was at a recycling place and i looked in there uh, like um, used furniture and so on uh, and then oh there's one and i got real nostalgic and do i want to get one of course i didn't I'm <laughs> regretting that now but i remember my father said that he and a friend they made beer and they failed the batch, so it had no fizz in it whatsoever. And they thought that, all right, but we have this uh, soda uh, mixer bottle. So we could just slap it in there and put a CO2 cartridge in, and then you get instant uh, fizzy beer. And they filled a glass, and it was just foam. And it was just <laughs> foam for several days before it started settling. So. <laughs> I've just... Googled it and it's called a club soda siphon. Oh, okay. That's doesn't a mouthful. Sound, yeah. Doesn't sound very catchy, does it? No. I certainly no. don't remember them being called that. I probably used probably used to call it a squirty bottle as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and of course today cool I could put what a lot of things in it, uh, so yeah. <laughs> Changing the subject, I got presents this week. Ooh. Ooh. All the way from Scotland. Oh, was it your lathe that you got back? No, the the drill press. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. J M N J M Woodcraft. John Mason sent me some oh, gifts yeah. in the post. Yeah, you said that. Yeah, he asked mm. me for my address um, on the pretense he was going to send me some stickers because I asked him for a sticker at Maker Central, and uh, he got my address. And then a lovely big box turned up with a. Uh, Elm Burr in it, Burl in it, um, some stickers, a whiskey glass, and some um, pen blanks as well. Um, for anyone listening, my address is... Uh... <laughs> 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 I, I saw the pictures on Instagram. It was really lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was really nice surprise. Chuffed a bit with that. So thanks nice. for that, John. Nice. That was awesome. So we're continuing the trend of just giving out our addresses to people who ask for it and <laughs> hoping for the best. <laughs> Oh. I keep I keep shouting out the people that send me presents and it keeps working. Somebody else will send me one soon. So. Yeah. I'll also shout out yeah. anyone sending me a present. <laughs> I'm just, just saying. <laughs> oh, it, it might take like half a year because the postal service is shit, but yeah. And of course, we can always also shout out people who don't send us stuff and nobody wants that. <laughs> <laughs> An anti shout out instead. <laughs> yeah. Who do you want to hate this week? <laughs> he owes me. Why hasn't he sent me something? <laughs> oh. But I'm actually working on a few gifts for a few people. And I also got a, a request for a Christmas gift. So, uh, and I was really pleased because, oh, that takes the guessing out of it i mean i really like when people actually have lists what they wish for and of course if it's a list i can oh i can tick off that i can do that that that's my thing <laughs> <laughs> well, i'm right. just trying to make it easy for you and tell you what i want for christmas i'll come back to you yeah yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> sure send me a list and i'll uh, i'll add it at the bottom <laughs> <laughs> i've also started work on um, 
Chloe's um, bill challenge. Ah, oh, story, the storage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was well, that, yeah. Well into that. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, I looked in the calendar again today and realized, mm, no, no, I'm the. <laughs> I really want to participate, but <laughs> no way I'll shoehorn it in you without have... really bending the rules and just slapping something together, and that feels bad. You can just slap something together, and you've got no excuse. I mean, you've got a CNC; you could literally program it to make you a tray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about you, KJ? Yeah, I'm. I'm... It's gonna be if I man. And my plan is to find something that is more or less just slap something together, uh, which is it's kind of nice to have the. This is not gonna be a, com- a complicated. Uh, video worthy project that is just going to be something uh, yeah. and just have to find what that something is and at the <laughs> moment I feel I'm, I'm cleaning out my workshop for uh, half in this project so I'm actually starting to see some of the surfaces again so yeah I prob- I'll, hopefully I'll find some kind of thing that needs uh, sorting out I have so much storage at uh, work. What I mean is, I don't have that much space to put more storage, right? Because all the <laughs> walls and are used up, and the uh, ceiling is no good for that because it's so low. And yeah, yeah, maybe I can do something in here in the in the clean room. Yeah, that might yeah. be it. Is your desk looking nice and tidy? That needs some storage. It's, yeah, it needs less stuff, not more stuff. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's coming on. My build's coming on really well, actually. I was hoping to do a little bit tonight, but uh, something came up. So hopefully get back on that tomorrow. I just you have, have a... an idea. <laughs> I have a, I have a project now for the... Okay, I need to program my CNC, but yeah, I'll, I might have a project done by tomorrow. Nice. <laughs> so you're beating us to it. Yeah. <laughs> going from zero to finished in no time. Yeah, I'm going to win this one. I mean, I tried, uh, I entered Tim's contest. I'm just thinking and, about that. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, of course, uh, I entered that as a bit of an outsider because, of course, the uh, as uh, outside of the UK, you weren't eligible for uh, any prices anyway. So, like, and that really takes the edge of any competition. So, I just <laughs> really tried to like uh, <laughs> please the judging panel, and uh, <laughs> didn't work, of course. And uh, not expecting that here either. But yeah. <laughs> no, talking of a judging panel, we're also holding auditions for Bad Audio podcast at the moment for a. A tenth member because Sam left us. Yeah, so I'm so a... glad I'm not in charge of that. But I mean, it's, <laughs> Me it's, a, lo- it's a lot of good input there, and like, uh, of course, I'm always uh, I-, I want them all. <laughs> Man, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I don't. I really. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it to Tim to figure it all out and post the clips at some point. I'm, I'm sure he will. But um, if anybody wants to send a voice clip into the Bad Audio podcast, if not only just to wind Tim up, then please do. (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm, I'm glad I didn't have to audition. I just... I'm I'm one of those that I just need to bring him along. It's like... (laughs) We need, we need fillers. We have yeah. a spot open. <laughs> You're in this. <laughs> okay. Am I? Fine. Yeah. <laughs> you say so. You're my safety net. I can't go anywhere without my posse. <laughs> <back up. laughs> yeah, it's nice to have someone with you in the awkward silences. And uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so what's the... <laughs> Speaking of awkward silences. <laughs> yeah, and that's the main episode right there, isn't it? And I still don't have a timer on my screen when I'm not the one hosting. 
That's you know. weird. No. Sucks to be you. Yeah, yeah. Does, yeah. that's a given. I, 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 you should have one. Yeah, I, 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 I have one at least when... I'm I've got two, maybe that's the problem. Maybe oh, yeah, you know, <laughs> <as well. laughs> have you taken the horse timer now again? Give it back. <laughs> well, no, 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 please don't touch anything. Please. <laughs> no. All right, I'm not going to click too much on stuff on the screen. No, please don't. Suddenly I'm probably lagging behind or. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's all going, all going really well. Yeah. Well done, Havard. Oh. <laughs> You're actually in sync with yourself. Yeah, it's <laughs> not every day. <laughs> um, but it's it's about this time that it's something does a hiccup and you get five seconds out of sync. So yeah, we shouldn't say too much yet. But I was thinking, what what is your timetable for the? Help yeah, because lagging is yes. a real pain in the ass. <laughs> 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 That was that was nice. Yes, yeah. good one. Good, good time. On you. <laughs> good on you. <laughs> but honestly, what is the uh, your timetable for the Hell Quarter at the moment? Um, because it's going <laughs> quite well. It feels like for you. Actually, I'm at that point that I uh, I'm not sure if I should bring it in to my computer studio office or, but it is ready to just press play and i'm gonna do the same as the original video i'm gonna set up the cameras and have them rolling f the first time i test it and if nothing happens that's gonna happen this week so i'm planning on having the first test video out where you can actually hear it so luckily for you it's most likely going to be the next video unless i get sidetracked which <laughs> it's very likely, but I the have next been. Video, at least. Yeah, and then there might be a hold up because I would like to do a proper video where it's used to actually play music. And of course, uh, Team Recorder uh, has uh, lent uh, an open invitation for a collaboration. So that would be really cool. So I have been started to think okay, which song should we do? And kind of realizing that the songs that you do want to try or do i mean you're going to get demonetized because there is going to be a copyright uh, strike or so any monetization will go to some dark uh, <laughs> music industry conglomerate or whatever but i mean playing something that nobody's ever heard before i mean it's not going to be as hilarious but we'll see but it's that might take a while to get uh, going so yeah so i'm hoping to have a test video where you can hear it working and then i can do a couple of other projects while i work in the behind the scenes getting a like a proper finale out sounds good yeah. did, did you think that you would have a uh some major breakdowns along the way because it doesn't feel like it, that much has gone wrong for you uh well <laughs> off camera <laughs> no i mean <laughs> there hasn't been very much breakdowns but not any anyone anyone funny enough for you to no, film at least <laughs> no and I've, I've postponed them, so I have set everything up for that to happen all at once at the end. Because, of <laughs> course, I have built things, and in a lot of videos, I like, I could, of course, test this to validate if this work or not. But no, it will probably be fine, so I just smack it in there and I continue working. And so th there might be something at the end when I just press play and, like, something catastrophically don't work and it's like all right i have to redesign something from scratch uh, <laughs> just to make it work so the hell quarter going up in flames that yeah that's uh <laughs> that's a concern I, i've did i've done some modification to the power supply so i'm constantly touching that but it's not getting too hot but of course Last week, I did some soldering on the circuit board of the amplifier. And of course, uh, 
you have to keep that in mind. So I'm not leaving it on, and I'm also actually plugging the cable out whenever I leave it. So uh... <laughs> that sounds clever. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I feel good, and at this point, I mean, if it's if it fails, I can of course just put it on a shelf and wait for motivation. It's going to be a nice wall piece, no matter what, because it looks really good. And uh, yeah. the final <laughs> touch with the red colors and so on is really good. All the computer bugging and everything is that all sorted as well now? Yeah, everything yeah. is sorted except. Of course, I I want a background picture when you're booting the computer up. Ah, I don't yeah. want the Windows logo or something. So I'm I'm gonna figure out a way to get the the boot sequence showing a picture of the drawing of the hell quarter or something. And then of course I want it to start up the MIDI software automatically. So when you just flip the switch after twenty seconds, it's up and running. <laughs> and nice. play the Windows start music on the recorders. <laughs> Oh, fuck, that's a brilliant idea, that is. Oh, I'm going to Google that right away, because... <laughs> You're welcome, and I'm sorry. <laughs> and then, of course, Windows... He really is going to Google Windows it 95 intro yeah, of course. MIDI file. Of course, that's the thing. Yep, there it is. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. That's awesome. I don't think you you might in the settings turn intro music on, but that hasn't been a thing on Windows 7, 10, or 11, as far as I can remember. The last tune I can remember was Windows 95 and 98. So that's a classic one. Yeah. <laughs> so you also bought some of your own merch, didn't you? Uh, uh yes and no um <laughs> oh. the cap i just slapped uh, my own sticker, sticker on yeah, yeah. Uh, and the t-shirt was when i ordered quite a while back just to test the the company and the the logo and so on so it's just yeah. been sitting there and i've been waiting for a uh, an occasion i thought should i bring it to maker central forgot that and then just, I, <laughs> I, I got to start to use it so yeah it's funny at maker central i think i would i would have been embarrassed to wear my own merchandise but wearing somebody else's feels completely normal there. <laughs> yeah it's it's good to uh, wear your own yeah yeah i'm gonna do that next year i'm gonna be a having, a having tried poster. both <laughs> it's better to use your own <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of molten makes there, wasn't there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is a damn good shirt, so. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it really looks comfy uh, fabric as well. It really looks yeah. good. Yeah. So. There are only two crude but efficient at the show, though, KJ. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some might say that's one too many, or two uh, <laughs> as well. <laughs> Oh, just I know we I know we did the Maker Central episode last week, but uh, it was just a little um, thing that I forgot to mention was I had my biggest moment of cool with my family at Maker Central. So when we were at the uh, Vectric event, we got in there before my family arrived, and I'd, I'd got two people down on my guest list, and I saw them coming round. Just went and had a quick word with the woman and said, "Can I just let my guests in?" And she opened the barrier and by, they bypassed the whole queue and came in and just waved them in. <laughs> Mich Michelle walked through the thing and said, that is literally the coolest thing you've ever done. <laughs> or, the only, or the only cool thing you've ever done. One of those two words anyway. <laughs> yeah, that uh, VIP feeling is uh, real good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Flexing <Yeah>. those muscles. <laughs> I've only, I've only brought it up probably about 15 times since then with her. <laughs> you remember that time? It was cool. <laughs> and you become cooler every time you say it, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah it definitely dilutes the experience. <laughs> <laughs> so the question is, will she say that you're cool more times so you stop saying it this, this time, or will she never, ever say it again? <laughs> it's looking like the latter. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, damn it. <laughs> on the subject, um, one thing I missed on Maker Central, uh, and we talked about it last time, it was the like the ID card with your logo on and a QR code. So when you're chatting to other makers, like 
what's your details and you just yeah. hey, scan the QR code and uh, like and subscribe. Uh, I've actually gone to this online page for making ID cards and uh, I actually have one ready to order. So uh, for the next event, I'm going to have my own ID card. It's like, nice. I mean, anywhere I'm going is like, make her coming through. <laughs> so I, I need a, a leather pouch to go with it. Like the FBI just flip it up and just walk past anywhere. <laughs> Nice. Put, put an earpiece in and start talking into your sleeve. Make yeah. it coming through. Make it coming through. <laughs> yeah. That's a go. Stuff <laughs> needs to be made now. <laughs> so we were we were actually talking, me and Michelle, about um Scarpa Festival and um the other day. And I've tried to I've messaged hands. Smog dog, and um, I've not, not had a reply yet. Um, just see if we can pin him down to an actual date for it. But there's no exact yeah. date as far as I'm aware so far. I mean, oh, it's yeah. a it's a two day event, so I mean, yes, I mean it's. I think the but main is it, is it is it the same weekend every year? That I'm not sure of. I yeah, think cause... they were aiming at that, but I'm not sure. And I promised I should, I would bug him uh, in about two, if he hadn't respond, uh, said something in two weeks, and we're coming up to that soon. So, yeah. yeah. So I guess it's like last weekend of October, perhaps? Yeah, it's the last week of October, and it. I've had two beers, uh, so I might not remember everything correctly but <laughs> I think he said that it was the goal all the way but maybe one year they had to move it because there was another arrangement somewhere in the city with overlap with the demography so right yeah but as soon as that's uh, as soon as that date is fixed I'll, uh, I'll look at getting the flight over Nice. Right. I'll yeah. start stocking up on uh, Smash and uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bring you some more flavored tea over. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, let's uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I still have a lot left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, but yeah, we should. Uh, maybe we should plan for a workshop uh, walkthrough debrief. Yeah. yeah, you're not debriefing me. <laughs> well, uh, I have to, to talk, talk you down for the. And then, of course, it's going to take more than a bit of smash. <laughs> of I course, smash. briefs yeah. is something else in English. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was sitting today and listening to the podcast, and you were saying something about like, uh, what was it like? Uh, yeah, it was something, and I was like, "That's an innuendo." If I ever heard one, but <laughs> so like, uh, but of course, I didn't pick up on it but during the recording, which is very good <laughs> because I would never, ever been able to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> I still giggle to myself over the butter incident earlier on in one of the episodes. <laughs> yeah, classic. <laughs> it's all part of the lore now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And now I Horace is got a distant sta- staring out off in the distance, trying to remember what it was. So maybe we should leave this episode at this point and just have everything everyone remember, uh, or try to remember what's been said before. <laughs> That's <Good> deep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I, I I I tried to go somewhere and it didn't work. Well, you, you try. Uh, and, and for all of us who struggle with uh, self-doubt, uh, anxiety, and imposter syndrome, please don't. Don't, don't think about the past. Don't, <laughs> don't, try, don't try and remember. You remember everything. So, yeah. <laughs> go outside, smell the roses. Or, yes. Yeah. yes. Go, go outside when it's not too hot. That's the, the tip of the day. Famous Just last getting words. complicated right. now. And Anyone be careful tips? with chainsaws. <laughs> Don't eat yellow snow. <laughs> I don't th- th- think that's a problem at the moment, but yeah. <laughs> it will be somewhere. Mm. Maybe. 
you yeah. don't know where our listeners are, or maybe you do. True, true. But I, I have a fair guess. But yeah, <laughs> no, no. Let's uh, let's end this episode now. And um, and uh, yeah, because we're 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 drifting into half pint territory as it is. I feel so. Just 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 cut it here. All right. Bye. 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 Good night. <laughs> or good day, or whatever it is where you are. <laughs> Thank you.